it, unless you are doing like they show you on the late night TV commercials and you're cutting bricks or shoes with your knives or cans because we all know that the best knives cut shoes and bricks. Anyway, they're trying to sell you stuff on TV. Unless you're cutting a shoe or a brick, your knife is really not going to get that dull in your household. And here's the thing. What happens in the household is your knife goes from sharp to this. And this is burrs on the side of the knife. This is what drags the knife through your product. We're going to go over to the steel. The steel now, again, everybody loves this, right? There's nothing cooler than flashing your knife around. Now, unless you're a chef at the Benihana, there's no reason to be doing this. And the reason is, there's no reason to be doing it. The reason is you can't keep a consistent angle. Put the sharpening steel at a 90 degree angle against the table and again at our 20 degree angle from heel to tip, I'm going to drag it purposely, purposely, concertedly against the sharpening steel a few times on either side. Sharpening steel generally is magnetized, should take most of the shavings with it. So again, uh, towel on the, on the table, knife down, pull it through, my knife is now sharpened.